It's time for Ask Beacon Now, one of the greatest parts of the show because you guys get to take some time to answer some questions that come in from time to time. Are you ready for this? Yeah, We're let's ready. do it. Okay, here we go. Here's our first question from Pete in Murfreesboro. I am thinking about selling some property, but want to know what the tax implications will be or could be. Yeah, I would say that for Pete, it depends on what type of property we're selling. Is it going to be a primary residence or is this a secondary property that may be for investment? So if it's, if it's a primary residence, each individual gets $250,000 per person. So if you're married, $500,000 of gain can be excluded, which in our area could be a good thing because the housing market has absolutely exploded. And so where very few people used to pay a capital gains tax on their primary residence, so many more these days are finding themselves in a position where they're going to have to do that. So that's the first thing. If it's an investment property, it depends on the amount they paid for it and any depreciation. And at that point, you're looking at capital gains of 15%, could be 20% in taxes. So you really need to sit down with a tax professional uh, or a firm that can really handle all of these aspects for you and unpack what that could look like. Okay, thank you so much. Here's our next question from Elaine in Gallatin. There are so many rules for Social Security. How do I know when I should start drawing Social Security benefits mm -hmm. and if I'm doing it right? Yeah, so Elaine's got a great question. There's over 2,700 rules <clears throat> that apply to how you take Social small Security. Reading, small yeah, reading. Just yeah, just a small, small weekend <laughs> reading material. And the truth is many people, like Forbes magazine had an article recently that said that many Americans miss time how they take Social Security and can leave tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars on the table that they're entitled to if they live for a long time in retirement. So it's not a small issue. Uh, do you take it uh, early? Do you take it at full retirement? Do you take it at 70? It really depends on your individual situation. And one of the analysis that we do at Beacon is we do a Social Security maximization report. And this is where we can take your personal data and your spouse's personal data and we can load it into some software and it will give us a really clean report, really easy to understand. It will tell you exactly when and how you should take it to maximize and get the most out of Social Security that you're entitled to. Great answer so far. And we're going to go to another question from Larry in Spring Hill. We're in our 60s and have saved some for retirement, but are wanting to make sure it will last. How do we protect that considering things like medical expenses and tax increases? There's so much to think about, isn't there? There, there is a lot to think about. And this is a biggie. You know, it sounds very simple, just medical expenses and taxes, but it's actually a lot bigger than that. You have to factor in inflation and what about how long am I going to live, right, to make this money last? And so I would say it begins with really doing what we call a comprehensive wealth plan, looking at all of the pieces of your retirement plan, Social Security, do you have a pension, how much have you saved for retirement, what's your current risk comfort level, and then what type of income are you going to want to have in retirement to see is there going to be money left over to help cover some of these? So it could be that they may need to delay their retirement if they haven't saved enough. It could be that they're right on track. And so without doing the retirement analysis, there's really no way to know. It all starts with having a comprehensive look into the overall plan, seeing how all the pieces fit together, and then making a good informed decision. There's so much to think about. We're so glad we have you guys on our hands to help us out. All right, thanks so much. If you have questions, go to askbeaconnow.com, and we'll be right back.